Hi, my name is Steve Moran. I'm a professor in the Division of Hand Surgery here at the Mayo Clinic at Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm here today to talk to you about a very common injury, a wrist sprain, and a particular type of wrist sprain that results in an injury to something called the scaphalunate ligament. This is probably one of the most common injuries to the wrist that we see here at the clinic. And it's an important topic because many times this injury will go undiagnosed for several years and it can result in wrist arthritis, which is a much more serious problem than the original injury. The scaphalunate ligament is a ligament that runs between two bones in your wrist, the scaphoid bone and the lunate bone. This can be injured after a significant fall, or it can also be injured in association with a fracture to either the scaphoid bone itself or the distal radius, which is part of the forearm bones. All of us have had wrist sprains and strains, but when you have an injury like this that produces significant amount of pain, even after the fractured bones have healed, or pain that doesn't go away with Advil or Tylenol, you should seek the help of a hand surgeon. The diagnosis is usually made by the physical exam, and you'll notice that your hand surgeon will often palpate over the back of your wrist and flex your wrist down, and patients that have this injury will also experience pain at this space between the two bones. Another common finding is that you'll also notice clicking and popping when you move your wrist and when you try to lift heavy objects, and you may also have an inability to make a strong grip or grasp. Your hand surgeon may also attempt to move the scaphoid bone as he brings your wrist back and forth from right to left, and he'll try to push the scaphoid bone toward the back of your wrist. This may result in a loud snap or a significant amount of pain. Those findings tend to tell us that the ligament has been injured. However, many patients will fail to have significant findings on physical exam because the ligament is only partially torn. For those cases, we often need additional studies, such as x-rays or often MRIs. Even these can be negative in some patients. Here at the Mayo Clinic, we're working on new ways to identify these injuries with a special type of CT scanner that can actually watch your wrist bones move as you make a fist. This hopefully will allow us to make the diagnosis sooner in many patients. If your physician cannot identify an injury based on the MRI or the x-ray, they may recommend something called a wrist arthroscopy. Wrist arthroscopy is when a very small camera is placed inside your wrist and you look directly at that ligament to see if it's torn. Unfortunately, this requires a general anesthetic in most patients, or in some cases, you can simply have a block numbing the nerves within your wrist. Once the surgeon has made the diagnosis of a ligament injury, it'll need to be fixed. If the injury is very recent or has occurred recently, you can have the ligament repaired directly with sutures or in some cases small metal anchors are placed into the bones. However, in many cases the ligament injury has been present for several years, in which case a primary repair or sewing the ligament end to end back together is not possible. For those patients, we use either a portion of the wrist capsule or a tendon from a portion of the wrist to help reconstruct the ligament. Following surgery, you'll need to be in a cast for usually six to eight weeks, allowing time for the ligament to heal. After this, most patients will require at least another six to eight weeks of physical therapy. And in many cases, you may not have normal motion of your wrist following surgery. The best case scenario is to make the diagnosis early and to see a hand surgeon that's skilled in the repair of this ligament. At the Mayo Clinic, we're working on new ways of treating this repair with stem cell research in addition to several different biologic materials that can help strengthen and augment the ligament, giving you a better repair. If you have further questions or concerns regarding such an injury, I urge you to contact your local hand surgeon, or you can contact us here at the Division of Hand Surgery at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Thank you.